Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Excel charts are great and helpful tools that let you graphically present and analyze your data. A simple chart in Excel can say more than a sheet full of numbers. Excel supports different types of charts, such as column charts, line chart, by chart, bar chart, area chart, and other types. Choosing a type of chart depends first and foremost on what kind of data you have and what you want to express. In this video, I will show you how to create format and move your charts. Before creating a chart in Excel, you must have the numeric data for it on the worksheet. To create a chart, do the following steps. Select the range of data that you wish to present, whether it is a continuous range or a non-continuous range. Here I will select only the names of the students from A1 to A4 and press Ctrl to select the total in cells F1 to F4. On the Insert tab in the Charts group, choose Chart Type. The chart is drawn and the Chart Tools tab is shown above the ribbon. You can change the size of the chart for a better fit by clicking the chart and then drag its border to the size that you want. You can also move a chart to any location on the worksheet by dragging it to the location that you want. There are three chart context tabs, design, layout, and format. The tabs become available when you create a new chart or when you click on a chart, and it will disappear if you deselect the chart. You can easily change the type of your chart to a different type anytime you want by clicking on the change chart type on the type group of design tab on the chart tools the change chart type dialog box is opened with a left band in which all different types of charts are appeared Select the type you want, then you can choose a subtype from the right side. Now I am going to change the default column type to clustered bar in 3D type. And sometimes after creating your chart, you may have to change the source of data. You need to update the data the source data from which the chart is drawn. Click Select the Data from the Chart Tools on Design tab. A dialog box of the Select Data Source is opened. In the first space, update the data to be the whole range from A1 to F4. Clicking this small icon will minimize the dialog box. Then begin to click and drag to highlight the new range from A1 to F4. After finishing, click again on the icon to maximize the dialog box again. Then click OK. Chart is updated to present the new range and each student will have five bars, four bars for each subject and the fifth one for the total. Another way to 
update the numeric data of the chart by dragging the blue line surrounding the numeric data to a larger area up till now you can't notice any change in the chart until you type new data in the empty cells within the range a new student is added to the chart and every time I type the mark the corresponding bar is drawn in the chart chart elements are the individual objects that make up a chart such as chart area plot area data series axis title data label or legend the plot area is the bounded area where the data are plotted and the chart area is the area between the plot area and the chart element selection box a row or column of numbers that are plotted in a chart is called data series data labels are helpful to identify the values shown in each data point of the data series the ligand helps readers to translate the charted data although ligand is somewhat separated from the chart placing labels directly on or adjacent to the blotted data is more effective but charts with a lot of data data labels may not be practical you can customize the layout of chart by adding or removing chart elements to any type of charts the layout tab provides controls for many of the individual elements of a chart such as you can add a chart title access title ligand data label data table and if you don't want to add the chart elements individually you can use one of the excel's predefined layouts simply click the layout command then choose the desired layout from the drop down menu when you create a basic chart in excel a title is not added to it by default you have to add it manually to add a chart title manually click anywhere in the chart and on the layout tab in the labels group click chart title click centered overlay title or above chart in the chart title text box that appear in the chart type the text that you want also you can add X titles manually on the layout tab in the labels group click axis title then to add a title to the primary horizontal X click primary horizontal X title in the X title text box that appear in the chart type the text that you want or if you want to add a title to the primary vertical X click primary vertical X title and then click the options that you want and it will remove chart title or to remove X title click none under the chart title 
also click none under each X title submenu. And you can change the position of the legend on the chart as you want. Choose any of these choices in the list. Choose the legend to be at the right, at the left, on the top or at the bottom or overlaid. Also you can add data labels to show values on each bar, click data labels and click show. And to turn off data labels, click again, then choose none. Another helpful label that you can add is the data table from which you draw your chart. Click show data table in the drop down list. It will show the table under the chart. And if you want to delete this table or hide this table, click none to don't show this data table and if you don't want to add chart elements individually you can use one of the excel predefined layouts simply click the design tab in the chart tools then choose one of the chart layouts from the chart layouts You can view a chart title on the top or the legend in the bottom or to show the legend in the right and no title of the chart or to view the title X for both axes. Choose the type of layout that you want in your worksheet. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. See you at the next video.